But no, you think there's people like, I wish I tried meth. Yes, I yeah. think so. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I this, do. I'm not saying get addicted to it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I wish I tried crack. Like, you think people. Huh. There's yeah, a lot of people that, that feel sure. like they're, they're curious to see what, you know, what the effects are and the feeling. Yeah. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun, Fun with, with Dumb. Dumb. Today, we have a special guest. And the thing about me, I don't have a lot of friends <laughs> from the olden days, like mm. high school, middle school, forget about it. Yeah. Elementary, they're dead to me. Forget about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people are like, oh, I wonder why. <laughs> mm. Well, the truth is, is like, I feel like people go through different phases in their life and then, you know, kind of we grow out of yeah. each other. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? And um, recently I came across a friend that like we cross paths in the same world of okay. like comedy and, and L.A. and all that. So I went to a Kill Tony show like two years ago, and I noticed like I recognized the drummer. I was like, "Who is mm. this dude? Looks familiar." I can't put my, you know, mm -hmm. I, I can't put, I can't put my. What am I looking for? The words? <laughs> Just finger, bro. Finger on it. Yeah. Finger. Finger. Oh, I was like, toes, <laughs> fuck, nose, no Damn finger. I could have put my finger on it, and then they said the name Joel, and I was like, I had a high school friend named Joel that I yeah. smoke weed with and do drugs with all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's my boy Joel. We used to do shrooms together, we all <laughs> yeah. types of shit. We all hard. had a friend named Joel we did drugs hard. with. Them. Yeah, yeah, Joel was a hard Joel drug, a <laughs> hard drug friend. Joel. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, so the drummer from Kill Tony, Joe Jimenez, Joe Berg, mm -hmm. is my high school friend wow. from freshman year. Yo, we went to high school Holy together. Shit. Yeah, we went to high school together. <laughs> yeah. So from the comedy store, stand-up comedian, Kill Tony, uh, OG drummer, mm -hmm. Joe Jimenez. Wow. Welcome. Yeah, that's me. Wow. What's up, bro? And this is the first time we're reconnecting right now. Wow, yeah. you guys look alike. They make you guys similarly. Look at you guys. Look <laughs> yeah. at the same I'm hat being honest type, with you. same shirt, arm tats. the dickies, we, the yes. arm tats. You guys have probably similar tattoos. We got the, yeah, we came up this way, like dickies yeah. in, a, in a shirt, you know, silver like. This is what LA looks like. <laughs> 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 Idiot. It is, okay. man. Okay. And we have, this is our first time reconnecting. Man. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I, I don't know what people remember about me at that age yeah i don't think i was like a person till i was 28 yeah wow. yeah yeah so i mm. i don't know there's a lot of i i remember you being pretty wild okay Ooh. uh i remember you were being a huge stoner i was into it yeah <laughs> uh and we i was a huge stoner at yeah. the time too and i just remember going to your crib in Frogtown and uh -huh. taking bong rips Ooh. sounds right but you know what's crazy is that <laughs> I brought one of my old childhood friends to your crib one time. Okay. Andy. Okay. I don't know if you remember this. D is he the guy that worked at the Grove? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Another Asian dude. Okay. So I brought him to your crib and he wasn't smoking weed at all. Okay. So it was the first time he ever smoked weed was at your house. Okay. Ooh. And he took a bong rip. And then from there, he went into the weed business. Oh, wow. shit, really? <laughs> so you were the first introduction. Hey, I'm going to need a cut of that. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. Shit. The weed business failed. <laughs> 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 so you're not getting shit. No, no, I'm kidding. But it grows on trees. What? But oh. I remember that specifically because that oh, was wow. the first time he ever smoked weed. Okay. And it is the guy that worked at the Grove. It was. Okay, cool. It was. Because I remember that. I remember going to the Grove and getting in to see something. Yeah. Cause he worked there, but um. So you do remember him from high school, like I do, that, yeah, okay, for okay. sure, of course. Yeah. Were you guys in like outside of the drug like scene? Was it like the music scene? Drug guys... scene? Is, that's a lot. That's a, is that too much? <laughs> I don't know I'm the sorry. drug scene. I don't it's know. Just, what, you're what a what kid we... experimenting. You're like you're trying to find yourself. It wasn't like we were yeah. fucking high school with kids. foil or anything. <laughs> Let's you know? see what what do you remember of me? And I'll okay. tell you what I remember of you because it, it's still all blurry yeah. too. Yeah. I just remember I didn't know your name was Jonathan for ever. <laughs> yeah. I it was chino because chino. people call every me chino. asian person if you grow up around latinos it's your chino, chino yeah. and i was chino i embraced chino a lot during yeah. that I time it. i went with it you i know? remember that i remember you had like a like a rust colored hyundai like a suv i did i had i had <laughs> my santa mom's fe. gold santa fe okay gold yeah and we all like mobbed in and we all squeezed yeah. in yeah and, um i remember that i remember you being really into hip-hop and like um i remember coming to your apartment and um drinking and smoking when your mom was gone yep. and uh yeah just freestyling and stuff like that like with uh jamal and yep. Yep. bringing friends over and stuff um i remember getting really fucking high one time and going to some 
internet cafe you guys used to play counter strike yeah yeah yep. and i was like <laughs> wait what I had, a brief, to, I had a brief stint in Counter-Strike. You took it to a PC bay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to hang out. Remember Carla? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Carla, Carla was this lesbian girl who was really cool, like Latina lesbian yeah. girl, super cool, kind of hot and shit. And yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Just have a Wasn't huge... she your first crush? I remember she, I you talking a, about this lesbian girl I had a huge that he had oh, a crush on. Oh, there's a couple. On. I don't know how much, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can, I guess you can't cut out live shit, but. Yeah. Oh. I, I get into yeah. it. I used to fall in love with these, like, lesbian girls in high school. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because they were so cool and shit. Like, yeah. I think I like the tomboy kind of girls, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I think I still do, kind of. I think it's like. Like, there's something about it. I think because every everyone looks a certain way, and then they were sort of separate from that. Yeah, that the norm. So it seemed interesting, you know. Yeah, and she was cool, and and I always liked the kind of L.A. girls, you know, like they pretty much dressed like us. Too. It was all dickies yeah. and, and like vintage shirts. You know, and they shit. used to go. I I think about it because I drive down. Uh, Fuck, I think it's La Brea where Pink's is at. They always used to go to that store, Jet Rag. Yep, I, and I remember there. they'd be like Sundays. There One was like dollar, a, a dollar thing on the, yeah. on the piles and shit. But they were always fly as shit, man. Like. I remember like the Adidas, like Sambas yeah. and like, you know, puffer jackets. That's and shit. the look. The LA look was Sambas, Dickies. Yeah. And I'm some sorry. kind of vintage are, tea like Sambas, like the shoe? Adidas Sambas. Yeah. Yeah. Adidas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But no, that's kind dance. of what's in right now. Is it? Yeah, the Sambas are back. I've been seeing girls being wearing that on. I would say like that's the look you can expect at a LA punk or um, like a backpack hip hop show, show like backpack yeah. rap show. Yeah. Yeah, these these joints right here. Yeah, hell yeah, with the like gold, like, yeah, yeah no, green no. and like gold stripes. Hell yeah, like, <laughs> that's a very LA look. I, I I will say. I mean, but it's crazy just to. I, I don't have. I still don't keep up with any of those friends. Um, and it's just been a long time. I'm sure, like, who knows? They might have kids. Yeah, we're at that kind of age. Yeah. Um, do you guys keep up with so any guys friends? Are, wait, hold on. So you guys are the last two that don't have kids or family. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no, there are, but. No. Do you have? You don't have kids. Nah, no kids. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm 35. I've been good. This Gotten whole some girls time. pregnant though. Never, never, oh. never. I got a new joke about it because I'm like, I'm. I don't know if it was Catholic school or what, but I'm fucked. I'm like super careful. I have really probably unhealthy views around sex, and I'm like. Like you put two condoms on? Like, like I pull out with a condom on, yeah. <laughs> you pull out with the condom yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. You mad, man. Yeah, hey, you got to be careful, man. I don't trust. Uh, yeah, this, this is why, you know when you were like, oh, he, you introduced him as wild? I can't see you as that person, like just meeting you right now yeah. for the first time. You seem such like a distinguished person. Yeah, it like, depends. <laughs> I was, uh, I don't know. I, I can be, but I think I'm uh, I'm sort of like paying for every crazy thing I did now with Whoa. like panic and stress all yeah. the time. I but. feel like you when I see you, you as a comedian and how quick you are on stage. It's so different from like when when I remember in high school, I remember mm. in high school, you were like kind of dealing with a lot of stuff. Too. Yeah, that's funny. That was a lot of shit. Like, yeah, for sure. I, 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 I swear to God, I think this could be. I, I, my head or not but just i'm just like kind of talking to yourself just <laughs> hitting your head like what this okay like wow. like you you were like maybe i don't know you just had some things you were working through or some yeah shit. yeah i think high school was like a scary time for me i think i was like i was really maybe up to like in fourth grade i was like diagnosed and like all this shit with like panic and all that but like then you find skateboarding you find mm -hmm. playing drums whatever you think you're like good yeah um but that shit comes around again you know i yeah. think i'm like now I'm sort of dealing with it again in my like high school years, was rough but... for me. It's kind of crazy to think like we're in our mid thirties and like yeah. I'm the healthiest I've probably been in like 15 years. Yeah, I think me too, man. My my high school like literally during that time we were what what six fifteen sixteen or something yeah, like that. Something, mm -hmm. Yeah, like literally was insanely unhealthy. Like I was doing crazy drugs at the time. Yeah, hard shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, because yeah. our school we we had yeah, a lot of crackheads in yeah, our school, yeah. bro. A lot wow. of uh, amphetamines. A lot around. of I don't know what it was, but amphetamines took our high school by storm. Wow. Yeah, that yeah. shit was why. What was the deal there? Like, why did that happen? I, you know what? I think I and this fucked up because I think it was a lot of guys doing it with girls and mm. then kind of like getting them into that like wow. lifestyle and shit. Um, it was weird because I, I came from another high school at the time and, and for some reason this high school in particular had way more harder drugs than the one I came yeah. from before it could be the mix of like the areas because like Marshall had you know you got the Silver Lake like art kids right. almost that's like, what it was was it like B, A or B track and then you got like Atwater, Toonerville, yep, <clears throat> and then Frogtown where I'm from and let me the, ask you something yeah. did you guys ever roll during school I never did 
I don't know if I rolled, but I do remember taking mushrooms during school and and, 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 and in class. I wow, remember that. Wow, you tripped yeah. in class. But yeah, I remember specifically that was heavy over there. And that's what it was. Like, I came from a high school before that, Belmont, which mm. is more hood. Like, the in rival. downtown, there's like 18th Street, MS yeah. Kids. But I go to this school, and it's in Los Feliz. And it's Silver Lake, Atwater, Echo Park, all these places, the surrounding yeah. areas. And that school was even crazier. Because you had Damn. these art kids and yeah. shit and rich kids to like hood kids. It was a mix, you know. And I think that's where drugs really prevail, though, when it's like mixed like that, like the little me melting pot. It is. If it's I mean, drugs up. bring people together. Yeah. The, the amount of times like I would be in a group of people I'd never hang out with if they didn't smoke weed or whatever it was. Yeah. Cholos at the river, like right. doing cocaine and stuff. Cholos yeah. at the river doing <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are both now like weirdly at the same time you guys are like meeting again there's all these similarities and stuff it sounds like you guys are gonna maybe start a new friendship since you guys are both yeah, now also sure. hold on you guys are both also like sober around the same time which is also interesting <laughs> did i say sober or did i say i quit drinking oh <laughs> okay, okay, okay okay i'm okay. not a nerd so you're still a little fun <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you told us that you quit drinking three months ago yeah and you haven't had one sip since three no months. no wow sooner. yeah How, how's that been because you know I, i'm kind of nervous I, I just started this journey like two weeks ago yeah and i'm i'm going to a lot of events to um and you know i'm trying to get up more on stage for stand-up and stuff but i'm worried to be around that environment where it's like two drink minimum yeah you know like going to a bar and all that yeah. stuff like has that been tough Are it's tough the first like month I, I don't really get triggered around people drinking um it's more like when i get to a green room like for oh. before a show first time in the green room because i would immediately vod double vodka soda yep uh or a shot of for beer sure. and then just another shot before i go up <clears throat> so that's when I feel it the most um, for the first like month or two. And even now I felt like I was learning stand up all over again. Wow. Cause I was fucked up 80, 90% of the time. Every, every set I did, wow. I was like sort of sauced and um, yeah, it would be tough. Cause I would like move and then I felt like they could see it and oh. then I couldn't right. move again or the mic in which hand feels comfortable. And wow, like, I had a, my first like main room set as a door guy, I went up and, um, I had like a deer in headlights moment in my mind. I was like, oh, I could just drop this mic, run away and never come back here again. And, you know, you just pout. You, the words were coming out. But in my head, I was like yeah. terrified. Damn. So that's been tough talking to people like this right now. Super mm. new. I'm like, I feel real tight in my face. And when do you uh, why did you decide to go? Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah, like, yeah okay, sure. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's weird because I, I was like, I had tried to quit before and maybe again in the future. But I um. I wouldn't tell people that I was quitting because mm -hmm. if yeah. I fell off, I didn't want that responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was like, fuck it. Like, I'll just tell people maybe it'll hold me accountable. But uh, the last time I drank was I hosted Potluck at the comedy store, which is like, uh, it's a big deal. I mean, for people that don't know, like the door guy system there, it's like sort of Ivy League of comedy. Like right. uh, Jim Carrey was the door guy, Bobby Lee. That's your paying, paying dues, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. It's kind of the, the, the way in, you know, it's like a clear way Stripes. in. But um, I hosted Potluck, got my name on the marquee. It was like a, a lot of stuff that I had worked for for a very long time right. to get. And uh, the next day I woke up at like 4 a.m., like fetal position, like had to take a Xanax to like go to sleep again. And yeah. like, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? So I, you went hard that night. I, it wasn't even that either. It was like, I think I also treat emotions like a drug. So yeah. I like, uh. from putting my name on the marquee, Till the next day, till it was over, I was like, oh, the, I'm going to drop. There's nowhere to go but down because it's so heightened for me. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I'm like you right now. Are you talking about like that revelation? Like I had that revelation recently. Mm -hmm. And who knows? I don't want to keep announcing it. It's only been fucking two weeks. But I really feel that way because yeah. I feel like my brain's been clouded for since I was a teenager. Yeah. yeah I, me too, I, I, I have not had a serious run of soberness in a mad year. Yeah. And I recently had that shit and I told myself like next year, if I can't just be focused and create my best year, then I, I don't know what else. Like I'm getting so fucking older, you know? Yeah. And it, it's, it's insane, bro. Like I'm really just, it's, it's a revelation that yeah. I fucking had. Yeah. Know? It's like that moment of clarity. Or yeah, whatever. it is. Yeah. It's the moment of clarity and, but it's not, it hasn't been easy, man. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks is a good time, man. <laughs> nah, so I'm just no, it's not. Yeah. It's not. 14 days. Well, 
is yeah. good. Is yeah, yeah. Good. Most trials for you know subscriptions are fourteen days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you'd have to pay. <laughs> you'd have, oh, to, you're pay. have to pay. You got to cancel it around yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I also think we gotta whatever. We gotta normalize. Fucking even two weeks. Say you fall off. Like there's a lot of stress around fucking up or like right, right, say right. you do say I, you know I hope you don't if it's what you want for your life. But if you do drink again or whatever it is like. It's a personal journey, man, and like for sure, that's not synonymous to failure. You know what I mean? It just means everyone does it on their own time. Me too. Same thing with like faith as well. Like if I if I say I'm gonna be better and I and I keep fucking up, sometimes me trying to become better after the fuck up is twice as hard. Yeah, because you already proclaimed it. You know what I mean? You already announced it too much. Yeah, but nah, two weeks is good, man. Good it, for you. It's brother. just an addiction. I I know that. It, I clearly understand that. Yeah. I have been addicted for a long time. So, what are you going to fill the spots up with, man? What activities are you going to fill? Because I, I think I think up with for you, classes. It's gonna, Hell oh, yeah. What kind of classes? I'm signing up for you know physical activity classes, which like martial arts or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> doing like Zoom writing classes and stuff. Nice. Um, I'm just figuring out how to. Fuck. Yeah, I've watched every TV show yeah, yeah, movie yeah, yeah, yeah. at this. You're point. just yeah, looking yeah, yeah. for fillers right now. Yeah, yeah. no, That's it's good. Dope. I mean, to better yourself, you know, nobody can knock that. If you're doing classes, whatever, like, uh, I don't know. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot more work since I've stopped. Like, all those clips I've been posting. It's like if I'm if I was hungover, I wouldn't be able to do it. Mm. Has your comedy changed since, or the, when you go up on stage? Yeah, like, do I you think. Feel uh, like it's sorry, I'm cutting you off. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was just wondering if it's yeah, what, like material wise, you mean, or anything, even like your performance. Yeah, anything? I feel more present finally. Like I'm starting to get there. I think uh, I did a set once in the main room where I I drank before and it was fun, but it felt like I was like, it was like through a glass or like through mm -hmm. whatever, and I, I didn't feel like connected. So even though it's more like um, electric, like in my body, it's uh, I think in the long run it's better to be present, like. You got to be a little bit scared up there or else. Yeah. Right. I bomb whenever I'm not nervous at all. Wow. So I, like, like when you're too cocky. Yeah. 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 You're like, I fucking got this. Like, <laughs> no, the fuck you don't. It, it's yeah. really humbling. Like, quit. yeah. So and I, I thought about quitting. I was like, man, if I, if I can't do this sober, like, should I be doing this at all? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I'm glad I stuck with it. And then being at the store. You're around it all the time, so exactly. I'm like writing. How, how did you? Like, you know, I saw I reconnected with you. I I think a little over a year ago when I went to a Kill Tony show, and uh, I just came up to you and said, "What's up?" But yeah. How did you link up with those dudes? Uh, it's just a long, long journey. So I'll, I'll be doing stand up eleven years in like December twenty first. So this that's month. so crazy yeah. that you've been doing it since like I guess you know around that time we met, and yeah. then we went on our adult lives. Was he snapping like back in high school? Not like crazy. no, no, I not was really. Not funny. Yeah. yeah, not really. That's that's why it surprised me seeing <laughs> yeah, him, yeah. and then all the quick you know joints, him and Jeremiah like right, going right. in. I was like, God damn, this yeah. shit is wild. Damn. I was just doing open mics in L.A. I met this guy Pat, and he was the original like band leader. He's like. You got to come to the store. Um, and I didn't have a bass drum like small enough to fit upstairs because the belly room's tiny. Yeah. And I went to a thrift store. I found like a little kid's toy bass drum nice. and just put new heads on it. I was like, I got a, I got a small enough kit. What? <clears throat> Showed up that Monday and then I just loved it. And I was like, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to be. I like sunk my claws in it. And it yeah. was like, I'll just keep coming until they tell me not to. How do we like mm -hmm. hang out in high school and wasn't roasting no each other yeah. or nobody? Yeah. And then right after high school, we go into these roast adult lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's because we got roasted. A is that lot. what it is? I think yeah. I think it was like Shit. if you get shot at enough, like eventually, yeah, you, know, you could be a shooter. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> in high school, I was like, I, I mean, I would say I was a class clown in, in classrooms and stuff like that, but I wasn't really like roasting motherfuckers like that. You know? Don't ever shit it. Like, <laughs> I, I wasn't that. roasting yeah, motherfuckers, yeah. nah. But yeah. it's so crazy that we went off to these different sections of roasting. You right. roast. You roasted me once in high Did school. I? Yeah. Damn, you remember the yeah, roast? Yeah, I remember it. I wanted What'd to bring this. Wow, scarred. Cause it was good. No, no, no. It was good. I, I, I had to give it up. But uh, <laughs> so at the time, uh, okay, this is like when like emo was huge, right? And I wasn't really into. I was more into like punk and hip hop yeah. and stuff. And then, uh, but I kind of liked the fucking Travis Barker, like famous stars and stripes transplants. Like, style, yeah, like, yeah, right? the transplants. So yeah. I remember I was like in heavy and like my famous stars and stripes phase, whatever. And we came to your house and um, we were in your room or something playing beats, and everybody was freestyling. And uh, there was a guy, also shout out, this is, I hate name saying people's names because I don't want them to find me. But do you remember Bo? Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course, yeah. So uh, The he, white dude, Bo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was in there, you were, you were, you were rapping or something, 
you said something and then you said joel he's just a mexican version of a guy we call Bo. <laughs> <laughs> and i was like that's pretty good actually yeah, yeah. i was like damn so, that this so when i was going to this high school like there were these kids like rich white kids too you know yeah. who were like sons and daughters of like famous directors yeah. or bands and, right you know Bo's house there was a party we went to Bo's house one night uh-huh and that's when I lost my virginity. Really? Yeah. So we go to this kid. I Bo's remember house. around that time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I go there. It was a house party. Everyone's getting wasted. And I'm, I'm going upstairs and this girl grabs my hand and pulls me into the room. So I'm like, sweet. <laughs> so so we're making out and shit. And then, you know, one thing leads to another and we have sex. And I'm like, sweet, whatever. I nut super <laughs> quick. You know, it's my first time. Yeah. And I think I'm like, I feel so good. I'm like, I got laid finally. The next day, I realize if people are like, kind of like laughing and like whatever. I find out she smashed a dude like 10 minutes before she oh dragged God. me into the room. So, mm. like, for a whole semester, my nickname was Sloppy Seconds. Wow. Oh my God. Well, yeah. in, in high school. Hey, sloppy Seconds over there. Damn. Yeah. So it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Hey, at least you got to eat. That's all I say. <laughs> she was wow. a senior. Damn. Yeah, sloppy I bet she second was. Senior, dude. <laughs> it's triple S over there. Sloppy second senior. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> but that, that's what I remember. Of Did Bo. you you knew her before that? It wasn't just some random. No, I, I remember. Yeah, we would see each other at school okay. and shit. But that was pretty embarrassing. Earlier, yeah. when you were like, he was a stoner and he's a wild. You know, he was wild back in high school. Wild stoner is kind of like oxymoronic to me. How? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by wild? How no, was he? Stoners wild? are wild. We were just like you know the the kind of punk rock stoner skateboard crew yeah like uh, all our like friends in virginia right yeah wild high schoolers yeah we have hills yeah and we would drive they're called hill hopping so we just drive like 50 miles per hour and try to hit, jump like you know literally like you know blues brothers yeah, like you're the guy that did that with the yeah. tesla right no with the astro <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. chevrolet van yeah shit like that that's wild but the, to me that's more like a suburban wild high school thing okay like us we would just like did school find you know somewhere to do drugs at yeah drink uh, mickeys yeah we'll, we'll 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 get a bunch of old english or mickeys yeah 40 ounces and we we're just pounding 40 ounces and doing drugs at someone's garage or like a stairway yeah <laughs> you know what i mean that's that's yeah. all it was oh, okay, like that you. sounds like some suburban wild shit that's some, yeah you know some doing some donuts killer shit. At a spot. <laughs> but that's that's kind of how i remember that that's we were like la fuck up kids yeah you know yeah i remember mickey's i think about this a lot do you think that maybe our parents are what kept us out of like completely fucking like going because i know you had like pretty strict your mom was kind of strict mm, right not really because she was so busy yeah they were oblivious like, you know how we would have like those moments we'd smoke and freestyle in my house yeah. it was because yeah. my mom's gone all the time yeah for sure you know and then my house was a mess too at that time. I think my mom was going through a lot of shit. It was crazy because literally just shit was just covered on the floor. Like you couldn't even see the ground. I think people who hoard and create a mess around the household, like they're just going through some stuff. Yeah, mentally. they don't have time to do that. Yeah, yeah. and I, did, I got away with a lot of shit because my mom was so busy. Hmm. I feel bad about those times too because I remember being out and my mom calling me 12 times and shit and i just wouldn't answer and yeah. she's leaving mad voicemails oh. i'm like it breaks my heart yeah you yeah. know that i broke That's her good heart. though because people that it doesn't break their heart are probably f fucked Dickheads. up right now yeah yeah they're all they were on fucking maury be like fuck you mom yeah. you know like that's what they turned into i got a wild one do you remember i'll just say the name of the place and then i want to know if you remember this jack in the box does that ring any bells yeah of course yeah. it i i think the statute of limitations is over on this but we used to hang out with this guy and he was uh he did he was into drugs and stuff and one time he's like man i'm hungry like let's go get food and we're like all right and so we go to jack in the box and we didn't this guy like the plan was when they hand the food from mm -hmm. the drive through to the car you run you grab <laughs> yeah, the bag yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you get in the car and then you take off oh right. my god and uh let's just say someone in this room was driving <laughs> yeah that, allegedly that was uh -huh. me yeah. yeah yeah i remember that but i remember it was like kind of scary because you get the bag you jump in the car and then it was like you got gone. a dip yeah, yeah you yeah, got yeah. a dip but yeah we, yeah, we ate jack wait wait hold on you, you ate up. well <laughs> yeah because you're not paying for it you're just jacking. i know but that's invitation to a car chase right? yeah i know that's why <laughs> it was fucking scary <laughs> you were literally <laughs> jacking the box you yeah are. yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're safer jacking it and running 
than getting into another car because then they could just drive. Oh man, wow. there was yeah, a lot of bad shit we did during that time, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, Steffi, you're you're kind of you grew up a little bit goody two shoes, right? Yeah, that's why all of this sounds so crazy to me. What's that, a crazy like, our shit? School. I went to school in the South, like Torrance, and there was not like I don't know about the bad kids. Like the bad kid was like we would have. Um, it was a friend of mine actually, and. He got suspended because he had made like an ice bomb, you know? Do you know what that is? Like a dry ice in a bottle. Yeah, yeah. And he threw it. I love it. that you're like, do you know what that is? It's in the word. <laughs> he made an <laughs> ice yeah. bomb. I yeah. can figure it out. <laughs> but he was like, got really, he got like 4.0 GPA. He was just a smart kid who like wanted to like fuck around with He's like, a mass shooter. That's what you're, <laughs> you're pretty much he saying. Had, he's a mass he shooter. He was actually the guy I had like the biggest crush for like eight years. You had a crush on a mass shooter. I know. Damn. He was like my neighbor. But I'm in anyway. love with a shooter. <laughs> no. He's making them He was like a nice bombs. guy. <laughs> he was smart, but like he was also the kid who you know um the water guns he would put like piss in there and go around oh, and yeah. like uh, and you're like please shoot me <laughs> no i don't know why isn't that crazy that that was the guy i had the biggest crush on and he, he was seems just like, like a rebel he know? was like the rebel but he was like the smart rebel i've always yeah. i was always into was he that like type quiet, of guy. quiet type kind of no he wasn't he was he was like he was a class like comedian like people loved him the teachers loved him because he was very charming mm. so he was like kind of like a well-rounded kid but he also like needed this attention so you didn't get tempted at all to do any bad shit when you were growing up in high school no like i felt so bad and he was the first one actually uh we had a school um like presentation we had to do and we had to get like a manila folder so we went to a home uh, office depot and we had to buy like a 20 thing yeah I, he's like let's just take one and steal it and I, that was like the craziest thing because he's the one that did it but so that was, I was the craziest just, thing taking one was, manila folder out of the 20 pack and dude, stealing i was it. such a good girl especially when i hear this stuff like uh, this is so crazy to me did like, you ever ditch one day of school in high school never i had perfect attendance damn wow. we that was our thing we ditched so I many i dropped out yeah me too i dropped out in like the 10th grade me too you guys are so yeah. similar we yeah. both dropped out in the 10th grade and i don't think we even told each other right you no yeah no yeah you did too <laughs> yeah because i've known this full what too. the fuck tony i've known tony since that time too right we've known each other around Wait, that time do you remember me did we ever hang out i feel like I, you have a very Familiar Interesting, face. Interesting, because I know there was a couple dudes that you would always be with. Yeah, a couple of Korean. Cats. Wait, you yeah. knew Tony that long? Yeah, I've known Tony for a long time. Oh, that's crazy. I actually Holy recently um, digitized some of the footage of me, of us freestyling in the room and stuff, yeah. and I wanted to share it. And I was like, "Oh, this is cool. I, some archival stuff I could share." It's so cringe. Yeah, I can't yeah. even oh share it. God. God. <laughs> it's so I cringe. I was like, "Nah, never mind." <laughs> okay, I, you know what? There is one thing I did that was bad. I, I totally All forgot right, about this. I used to uh, resell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's already off to. Okay, uh, already I used off to be to part of like scholastic Q books, Q what? Q or like any of these like uh, volunteer groups. So we used to get bags of like candy that we sell, and then we would give back to the community. Yeah. So like <laughs> I would go, I would go to the bad kid not bad kids but like there was like one class I was in these honors classes but then like I, I had like one class that was like I I don't remember like maybe with the it was, plebs yeah like yeah, yeah the the normal kids yeah, yeah, yeah. but I would be there and I would sell like those dollar candies like for like three dollars to those kids because i knew they wouldn't know because there's no way they volunteer and they would buy it so i would take that money yeah i would actually just th is that bad i You're, just needed money i don't know that's, that's what would so you do with the money what would you do with the yeah. money is oh i would save it to like, buy like a jack in, jack in the box okay. like i would get jack i would in the invest box it in the community <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like, I, so you're like, you're bad, like a pharma bro way. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's very, I'm gonna sell it for three times the amount. <laughs> the OG she shrink was yeah, I just like, I was like, yeah, kind of like a business girl, I guess. But I did bad. Barter like, skills. I was like, okay, another bad thing is like, I was like treasurer. No, I was actually vice president of like one of the like the national honor society and we would get these like unicef <laughs> these stories like, start off hilarious <laughs> i was yeah. in charge of the valedictorian yeah. actually i was the president <laughs> yeah. of 
<laughs> and um, I would get like these UNICEF boxes, and you you know you like you're supposed to get money, get donations, and um, I would keep the money. You dipped in the okay. bank. That's, that's bad. That's pretty bad. No, that's in a bad. That's corrupt bad. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corrupt. Yeah. Like I knew I was supposed to turn it in, but then I would forget, and then I would just like keep I would the money, forget. So, that's yeah. what you told but yourself. I wouldn't use the money for like three, four years because I felt bad. So yeah. I'd already graduated, and I had like. A shit ton of money these that are I'd all see. like how corrupt politicians share yeah. a story yeah. yeah 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 so i was president and i abused <laughs> my power <laughs> but yeah, i didn't use whatever. it for a few years that's, <laughs> not, that's not that bad it's not like yeah. i stole a car like that's probably worse i've right? stolen a like, car no yeah. i know you have i know i've stolen a car i remember that i don't know if i guess it's passes the it's you the, allegedly yeah. stole a car. allegedly there stole a car um yeah. at the time I don't know if you remember this because this was around that time too. Okay. There were these master keys to yeah, a make certain, sure you're recording right now. There's yeah. certain eras of um, like 1989 to 1994. There's like a master key for all Honda Corolla, uh, Honda Civic Camrys, too. Camrys, and I had that with a group of friends. So we would steal like two, three of these cars like individually, and we would go to the Griffith Park parking lot, which is like a huge empty parking lot yeah. by the LA Zoo. Mm -hmm. And we play bumper cars. What? <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ! What the? Fuck? I never did that. One. Like, like that's a, wild. Like a demolition. That's derby. wild. So this was a whole thing, but I remember at the time my homie that I brought through to your crib uh -huh. that I told you got introduced to weed. Yeah, we would just steal these cars and go on little like you know missions. This fool st had one of those stolen cars and he was driving it to to work uh -huh. at the Grove. This motherfucker got pulled over by the cops, oh. helicopters, everything, oh, and got no. arrested and everything. You remember this? So he got fully arrested, got a charge and everything. It was one of his Damn. first charges. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't steal a car from like the Koreatown area, right? Uh, pff, I mean, I have. I'm I not mean, gonna you lie. You understand that stealing from the, the majority of the Hondas is. I'm sorry, you know, low income I, I immigrant families. I, I was a kid, a and Korean I understand. mom that had to go to morning prayer. Okay, like you haven't done any piece of shit thing. <laughs> You've done a lot of piece of shit things. Hey, you look like you were orchestrating these fucking. <laughs> yeah, things. look at you, bro. I'm the guy that sells it at the end. You know what I mean? Okay. Can we? You stole, no, he stole. You stole drums drum says, from can I, church. Let me just like, say, that's not like that innocent. Yeah. Here. A lot of times, people. <laughs> yeah. You paint yourself to be uh, this Christian upbringing in Virginia. Yeah. Can you share a piece of shit story from you? Because we all know, because we're friends with you. Yeah. Can you share? it? Just be honest. A piece of shit story. Only God can judge. <laughs> And us. Come, yeah, and come us. back to it. Let me think about it. Let okay. me think about it. Let me think about it. I can name five for you right <laughs> no, now. You can't. In Torrance, we I know I remember the bad kids. What they would do is steal like the logos and make belts. You know, from the cars, the the Honda or like this Cadillac oh, yeah. things, and they make you belts. That shit. Yeah, belts. But that's crazy because that's like nothing compared to what the fuck you guys are doing. Like, yeah, you're like you guys are stealing the logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah, like, you're like, leaving the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only. That's the only thing we leave behind. The logo. You stole the emblem. <laughs> that was literally, and I thought that was. Bad. What was that thing though? Like, why was it a flex to put a Honda logo on your backpack? I have no, no idea. I mean, Mike D did it with the VW. Oh thing, yeah. You know, there's that. I mean, the Cadillac things were cool for a while. The comedy kind of save you in any way. Was that some kind of big outlet for you from a troubled time? Uh, n uh, I don't know, man. I I, I was thinking about. I, I think up until like my twenties, I didn't have any direction. I was mm. just like a school, a dropout. I was fucking getting high every day, yeah, fucking around and stuff. And then um, I'm trying to think what like really brought it together. But yeah, it gave me purpose. I mean, it gave me something to like work on and like i've also th i think i've been trying to be myself my whole life yeah and nothing like stand up to like present yourself in the way you want to be perceived to like a crowd and uh, like your truest yeah. sense you know i think the best comedy is like is like that but yeah, yeah. I, I does it you know i realized as i got an older too like when i tell people like i dropped out of high school a lot of people are pretty shocked by that. Yeah. You know, I I, I know there's a lot of high school dropouts out there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people talk about dropping out of college like that's a yeah, huge thing. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I get pissed all and, the time. And I'm like, like, really, fam? Yeah. You got your, your yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, you, you got there. Yeah. I feel like I people feel like who drop out of high Go ahead. No, go no ahead. I was just going to say, in this industry, it seems pretty normal. Like, I feel like the more, I just hear a lot of people in this industry or like people that are doing really good, great things yeah. or like a lot of them drop out. I mean, we got three in this room already here. Yeah, like, yeah. I think people drop out of high school too. They're forced to like figure it out a little quicker, though. You know what I mean? You can, I think, or you can go the complete opposite direction. That's true. 
you know? But, you know, there's people that go to college and feel like they have it straight. There's people even that have corporate jobs that leave that and feel lost. You know what I mean? I, I think that's the thing. With college, it's like you go in it and you're spending so much more money yeah. in college. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, what am I? What's the point of spending yeah. this money? People are coming to more of a realization now because everyone's trying to content create. There's so many easy ways to make money yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I was a kid, I'd be confused. Like, if yeah. my parents were trying to get me to go to college, I'd be like, why? Yeah, the research is in now, too. It's like your degree or whatever doesn't really amount to much, you know. It can, it can, but it feels like whatever, you could still be, not have a job or be yeah. broke. And like, yeah, I don't know. I think it takes getting to college and being like, what the fuck am I doing now? You don't need I, it. I'll tell you right now, dropping out of high school is it's kind of a bold thing. Because yeah. I remember at the time, I'm not saying, oh, like, I have so much courage to yeah. do it. Yeah. But yeah I, well, you didn't do it on I'm a not, choice. I'm just saying I was fucking up so bad. Yeah. At one point, I had to make a decision. Like, do I want to stay? If I stayed and I go to the trajectory of, like, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, I'm going to go to the super senior thing. Yeah. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna definitely have to stay yeah. an extra year. Like, I, I And that girl would still be there. To be. <laughs> <laughs> so I calculated everything, and, and I was like... Damn, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> Wait, because you guys were getting bad grades, or like, well, so what? What exactly was happening when you had to? When you were both <laughs> just of skipping you guys class were, and I, I, sk like, I skipped at one point. I, I checked like how many days of yeah. school I missed, and I missed like hundreds, like over a hundred days. What of the school. fuck? Were, I don't understand what you guys were like. What are you doing? Like, you're just like hanging out with your friends, just smoking. Yeah, this like, is my freestyle. this was my high school schedule. I'd I'd get to school, and my mom would let me borrow the car. Like my, you know, because she, Before you got she, your goes, she would go to work. She can go to work alone. Like she worked yeah. in K-Town. She could walk there. So she let me take my car. Like she was very oblivious and naive. That's why I got away with a lot of shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So I take the car. I get to school like 730 before the bell rings at eight or something. And I, all my homies are there. We cram all the homies into my whip. And we just drive somewhere to score the weed. It took yeah. like four hours to get the weed. Dude, people don't remember this shit. It was a mission. Dude, and everybody thinks because California is so cool. Sorry to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Now it's chill. But like, dude, it was fucking hard. You had to call up somebody's cousin's brother's uncle. You got to wait forever. It might not happen. It might happen tomorrow. <laughs> it was an all day task. <clears throat> yeah. And yeah. it felt like coming when you got it. It was like, really? fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. Roll a blunt. It was so nice. Yeah. It was, anyway. And, it, and it was like the real thing. Like you got five on it. Yeah. Every single person has their five. Yeah. So it was, say it was like, we're getting cushed. It's like $25 a gram. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. And it's five of us putting $5 each. And that's how many people are in the car, right? Yeah, $5 yeah. each. And we're all in the car just texting whoever is going to yeah. answer. Finally, four hours later. We go pick up the gram. <laughs> it's, it always seems smaller than you think it is. <laughs> yeah. It was. You imagine getting something. Like, you imagine getting a nug this big with five people in a car working five yeah. hours to yeah. get it. <laughs> and then we finally go to someone's empty garage or whatever. Yeah. And we smoke it. And then that's it. That's it. <laughs> eight yeah. eight a.m. to three p.m. That's wow. what we were fucking doing. No way. Yeah. Yeah. That and was our life. And Holy I've noticed shit. too now because it's so prep, weed is around. Nobody really gets mad if somebody hogs it now. But yeah. back then it was like, dude, sure. pass that shit. What are oh. you doing? Like, and now I think back, I'm like, we were losers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it, it, we had, you know, we did stuff. We, no, we had a task and we accomplished we it. Did, we were yeah. getting things we done. Were, were you guys just like rhyming words while getting high? Like <laughs> that? Put it that way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. So we just say you were just rhyming words. We would freestyle, you know, people, he would drum or whatever. Yeah. We'd do stuff. Yeah. We'd do stuff. So wait, after so around three, would you come back home in the car acting like you got back from the school? I think we would go back to the school and like kind of drop off everybody. Wow. And that was kind of our day. That's tight. But it was never boring doing this all the time. I guess it wasn't because we nah. did it many times. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's also like the chase is the real thing, I think. It's not, oh. it's like the everything no, leading up to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> they say that with drug addicts too. Like they don't even, they just want to have it in their hand. You don't even like, mm. You don't care about smoking it or whatever. And I would say freestyling mm. just stoned all the time did bring me here where what I am today. It made me who I am today. Mm. Yeah. It's so if crazy. you knew your kids, like say that you have kids and you saw that they were going down this path and they're would you just let them drop out and No, 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 no. Do no. I don't thing? think so. I don't yeah, think I would why? encourage. Because it's like you're you guys are probably doing better than a lot of people that Because like, everyone who gets high freestyles at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too many, too many That's people. Not, <laughs> I, it wasn't just like I happened to freestyle and became a rapper. No, yeah. every single 
person who gets high yeah. freestyles at one point. If I if I gave my mom a joint right now, <laughs> she might freestyle in an hour. Chuck them, chuck them, chuck them. Wait, that one time we got super stoned. Do you remember that at the park? Oh yeah, yeah. And you, you I don't started freestyling. This. Yeah, you told me I did the next day. I don't even remember. You didn't that. rhyme one word, but you tried. Dude, I thought I was though probably because like, when you put a, an instrumental on when you're high. Oh yeah, that's it's just you want to contribute. It's you want to contribute. I really think that's a tribal instinct for sure yeah it's a tribal instinct <gasps> yeah. you just want to like wow you want to it's do the campfire something. it's yeah. the campfire effect you it know is I mean? you want to share your stories dude. i promise you that is a, a thing i mean how many people that you know aren't rappers have freestyled in a session so yo can yeah. i be honest with you put me with a blunt in a car and a beat a cd full of instrumentals i'll freestyle for hours now you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. My friend, like even when Danny comes to and he visits, we always, any karaoke we go to, we always freestyle for at least an hour or two hours. Because everyone has a thing that, they, the feeling they have, they, they want to vent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think freestyling kind of allows you to do that. Yeah. You know, the, the drunk freestylers are a whole nother breed. Oh, oh, wait, right. so what's yeah, the best? You know how many times they say, I don't give a fuck in a freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking. give a fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Wait, is that the best, so is that the best, like, drug or whatever is weed to freestyle like or is it drinking or like no coke? you know like what is like the best like weed for sure weed interesting maybe because you get out of your head a bit and you're just kind of like wavy yeah co coke is more like people sharing their ideas oh my god yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> business ideas yeah. yo i got a sick ass movie yeah. idea uh. Dude. It's like, oh, here we fucking Yeah, man, go. we're trying to make an animated show. We want you to be one of the... And then you never hear shit ever <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coke is more like startups, movie ideas, yeah. TV shows. Uh, weed is music. Yeah, yeah. A lot of music. Yeah. How about acid? What can you do on acid? Acid is like crayons and, yeah, and laugh. Uh, paint. What? And, you crayons? Know, yeah, like you're just... You want to... You wanna, it's more Etch-a-Sketch. Yeah, you know? and you're just like <laughs> laughing and really enjoying the ideas. What would be the best for podcasting? Ecstasy. Oh my god! I don't know. Can Any, you imagine if we did ecstasy right now? I think it'd be unreleasable. And I personally don't like a lot of pods where people are getting drunk and shit. Yeah, Is that a yeah. Thing? I find it really annoying. Oh, I never for seen sure. It. There's tons. There's there's tons. You know, like all drink the champs. drink champs, and it's cool. I guess those pods are cool when when the guest <coughs> feels loose to kind of yeah, say, yeah, share shit. crazy yeah, like shit. Kanye. Yeah, like Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for all all that because they'll say crazy shit. Yeah. But I generally don't like those episodes because they get kind of annoying drunk to yeah, me. If you sure. watch yeah. it as a sober person, yeah. you're like, these motherfuckers are too drunk. Yeah, let's uh, yeah. fucking follow the fucking story here, man. <laughs> no, the times I've done, that's another reason with drinking. It's like the times I've done podcasts. Brian used to have like a studio at the Ice House. Yeah. And the times we'd just be fucked up. And the next day I'd be like, what did I say? And now it's on the internet forever. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that's whatever, like, man. that's kind of like when you're freestyling fucked up and you think you're killing it and, and, a, and you rewatch it. Oh, oh my God, God. That was trash. That's why I don't, I personally don't think like moments like that freestyle should be recorded and rewatched. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I feel like those moments are, they're ooh and ah because you're there. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with Kill Tony or with like those crowd work things or whatever, like in the moment. I posted clips and people were like, it was funny, but not that funny. And I'm like, you're missing the the vibe Context, in the room. For like sure. everything that happened leading up to this. Yeah. Um, they should understand that. Like they should know that if you, you have to be there. Yeah. You have yeah. to be there kind of thing. So I, I don't know. I agree. Yeah, man. Did you think of a dirtbag thing you fucking did? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to I get did, out of I did, I did, yeah, I did. Yeah, you're trying to get out of it. No, yeah. no, no, no. I was thinking about it. Not not because I was like, just so many, you know? Um, <laughs> I made my girlfriend's brother think that there was a ghost. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, like, in his factory that he worked at. Nah, but listen, this was... It was evil because it was multi-layered. You know, I would... I, I had, like, a huge... Remember, like, Magnum markers and, like, crink? I would go to different buildings, like abandoned parking spots, and I'd write like uh, names and words. Like his name was Alan. I was like, Alan, I'm here. And I was like, maybe like half a mile away. And I'd come back to the factory and I'd be like, the spirit's telling me to come over this way. So you'd prepare. I'd prepare. It was a whole scavenger so hunt intricate. of lies. Charlatan. You yeah, it was yeah. so bad because he was literally like, you know, he was traumatized and he didn't want to go to work. And to this day, like I remember I, I like doing stuff like that. Just kind of like creating like haunted houses yeah you're like, like you're an emotional terrorist yeah yeah, yeah pretty much <laughs> jesus you're like you're don't like, ever call me an et again you're bro, like, like doing 
exceptional That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Pretty good. Yo, don't call me E.T. ever again, You babe. like doing Saw level. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You're really games. into the psyche. Yeah. yeah, he does. I mean, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Because I still didn't tell him. You know what I mean? He still, he still might think. This is like Hannibal Lecter stuff. No, it was bad. Like I would get like red dye and I'll spill it in like the parking garage and wow. then and then scrub it out and then put dirt on it to make it look aged. Meanwhile, he's like, he knew what you were doing. He's like, this fucking <laughs> like, guy. Yeah. How far yeah. is he gonna go? Just let him do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Little things like that. Have you ever heard of this website called Peter Answers? Oh, dude, I. Okay, I was just gonna talk about no. this. This, Peter mother- answered? this motherfucker fucked with me so hard mentally. Uh, this was probably eight years ago, nine years I ago. I did it to you. It was you or, or Pete, a uh, manifest. It was probably me, man. Yes, I think it was man. you. I Manny think it was you, man. So there's a website, uh, you can ask whatever. It's called Peter Answers, right? Okay. So you type Damn in it, the I'm question. I'm giving it away right now. I know this is kind of this is like a magician revealing a secret. Yeah, for real, for but real. But I'll tell you, I, 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 wanna, I got I got to explain this. it because this motherfucker fucked me up for like three hours doing yeah. this. What is it? So you go to this website, right? Yeah. And you pretty much present it like this is some all knowing like mm-hmm. s- spirit or yeah. something. It's like a tarot right. card. It's an online tarot card. Reader. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you type in the question, right? Yeah. Uh, explain this. Explain okay. This. So there's two text fields. The first text field is you have to ask Peter. Um, you have to write, Peter, could you answer this following question? Mm-hmm. You have to request it by actually writing, Peter, could you answer this question? Uh-oh. Second text field <laughs> is the actual like space for the question. Okay. So like, let's say I'm with a homie and I say, hey, uh, let's ask it a question, you know, something, something only you'll know. He'd be like, okay. He's like, oh, my ex-girlfriend in middle school, her name was Angela. Like, uh-huh. no one knows this. But he just told me it's Angela. Okay? Yeah, yeah. If you hit a certain key on the keyboard, anything that you type will be masked to Peter. Can you answer this question? So while he's typing in the answer. So the answer (laughs) is masked to the question. So pretty much I'm just digging all this information. So I'm like, I type in Angela, but today it just comes out as Peter. Can you answer the question? Yeah. But then, you know, I'm poetic with it. I'm a lyricist, you know, like I don't you can't just write Angela. You know what I mean? I'll write something like a angel. Uh huh. I'll be like, hey, Angel, I don't get hey, Angel. Hey, you don't, you Angel, know what's Angela, going on? Like, so you know when he's I mean? typing in the answer, it doesn't show that he's typing it. Yeah. He's, he pretends like he's typing the question. Right, yeah. right, You right, got to right, be Shakespearean right, right. with it a little bit, too. You can't so just this, have it. This fool did this shit this to me crazy. for three hours. <laughs> yeah. Terrorizing me. I know me. so I much about him. I couldn't figure this shit out. Yeah. I was like, That's is amazing. this some crazy spirit? <laughs> yeah. Is he a prophet? What yeah. the fuck is going on? Yeah. He fucked with me for hours and would not reveal nothing Fuck, it because was yo insane. the problem with this right it's like after the first two three questions you're you've already lied yeah when are you gonna reveal that you've you know what i mean like yeah. wait, i think I, you never do you, you, you know what i mean die with <laughs> it <Yo. laughs> et's i think, always but keep it these kind of moments are insanely like you're terrorizing. That's diabolic. That's yeah. You diabolic. are mentally terrorizing. <laughs> yeah. So, I, hey, that's one example. You know what I mean? That's yeah. That, that's fucked you up. You are a sick. In, fuck. in retrospect, that's you know. In hindsight, that was fucked up. You know. This is why you're religious. It's, that's you're, why. You're yeah, just yeah. Trying yeah. to pay for. Your <laughs> sins. I'm trying to redeem. You know. Man, I gotta say, uh, Joe, I am very happy to see um, a high school friend doing well. Yeah. Especially Thanks. like us, because during that time, I feel like. All of us were just lost kids. Yeah. I, I'll say that. Like, our group of friends were, we were just all the same. And it's not just us two. Right. Mm-hmm. Our whole crew was that. You had a little yeah. delinquent crew. We were. Uh, some probably didn't make it out. You know, they're fucking. For sure. I remember it. during that time, a lot of burnout kids. Yeah, that sure. A lot of my friends that were going through so much shit, rehab, everything. Yeah. That, that could have been any of us because we were doing those drugs during that time too yeah. what do you know from your group like the group that you guys hung out with that were doing the drug are you guys all doing pretty okay or like i haven't in your talked small to, have circle. you talked to any friend um there's some that i like follow we're like friends on instagram they seem to be doing all right yeah um but so maybe you guys weren't that like maybe you guys kind of <laughs> like we're doing the worst. maybe you <laughs> yeah. guys did motivate we're each other in some way to be where you are you guys might have inspired each other at that time I, I, what know. i think it is is just like i think people who have overactive minds end up like doing drugs for in the first place to mm. shut it down right right and those overactive minds are what end up creating what you want to do later on in I life mean, i think 100 percent. i was gonna say that like i don't want you guys to picture it like yeah you guys weren't yeah, we were fuck ups, right? But there were reasons why we were that way. Yeah, those you know were, I mean? that, the, the drugs were like a symptom yeah, of something else. We had a reason. Know, even like, me, like I, I, I grew up in a suburban place. I went to a place called Langley High School, predominantly all white. I didn't. There was 
yeah, the wildest thing was jumping hills in cars. You know what I mean? I was like, it was boring. It was, but I, I fell into drugs too and smoking a lot of weed because I had issues at home, my identity issue. There was a lot of unhappiness that I had, you know? Yeah. So like for the kids or anyone watching right now that are in school that are, you know, they feel like just burnouts or drugs, like, you know, look at these kids. You look at these guys. Like yeah. there's a reason, there's timing for everything. So that's good. <laughs> look at them. Look at, look, yeah. look at them. I know, I'm in the same group as you guys. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait to... what do you mean? <laughs> Why you, what do you mean by that? I'm just kidding. You it stupid? like doesn't even matter. Yeah, like it doesn't really matter. No, 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 no. You <laughs> stole money from <laughs> UNICEF. I know, yo, none of us, <laughs> you heartless. <laughs> we no, never... We're all here I don't anyway. Think you should, I don't think people should think about the future. I think people should think <laughs> about the present, you know? And mm, the experience. That's tough, man. It, it is tough, but I, I think... I think a lot of kids think about the future mm, more. Mm. I think when we get to our age, we think about the well-being of what we can do now and what mm. we can control. Yeah. You yeah. know, and we don't think about those things during that time. No, you, you know? want to be a grown up. You want to yeah. be a, an adult. And, and once you start thinking about four years ahead, five years ahead, it's kind of easier to fool yourself that you're on this path for mm -hmm. four years, but it's hard to map out the next four years. Yeah, there is no map. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? How, remember all those things that kids used to do? Um, I don't know. If, they probably still do this of like when they start fucking up in high school, they're like, it's cool. I'll do community college for four, two yeah, years, yeah, yeah. and then I'll transfer. That's mm -hmm. like a whole huge yeah, yeah. thing. Korean parents love that. Yeah, they love that because it's like an easy ex exit <laughs> yeah, strategy. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you don't get into UCLA, <laughs> they're like, don't worry, we can do two yeah, years yeah. of community college, and it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and as soon as somebody gets into community college, they they never come do on, that. Jay. You next thing you're in community college for yeah. seven years. <laughs> yeah, you got the LACC. You're super LACC. <laughs> you're in LACC forever. Damn. You know, it's purgatory. That's man. what it is. It's it's what it is, man. Yeah, I, I think about it too. Like if when you were asking about kids, like I I wouldn't tell them to drop out, but I I don't know. I think communicating too with your kids, just being like, you could tell me whatever. My mom was always cool. Like I could any any drug I did, anything I did, if I she'd be like, just tell me, so that like if you need help, whatever. Oh. Like if I was like panicking or something, I could yeah. be like, hey, I did this. I'm worried. She'd be like, it's all good. Like. Not not condoning it, but like being somebody to listen. Oh, and that's I, I think cool. that kind of did a lot for me. I think um I had I had a better parental life than a lot of the kids I grew up with. And yeah. they they're the ones that seem to have gotten like lost. Mm. Mm. So I that that is a tricky thing because we've seen it all from people with good upbringings mm -hmm. too that yeah. were crazy. They were some of the worst influences on me, not yeah. like the the broken home kids. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean I remember and Marshall, like the parents that would be like we're, you can smoke here. We want you doing it in the house. <laughs> right, right, so right. So you're not like that was like Bo's streets. parents. Yeah, yeah. I that shit is so crazy, man. Like I, I don't know. I'm just kind of if I just feel like I'm just waking up from those years. Yeah, yeah. I really feel that. Just way. a haze. Yeah. yeah, it was a blurry time, man. Yeah, I remember. I remember one time. I think I was like, it was my first girlfriend or something. I'm all obsessed with you know on the phone and all that. I think cell phones. I had just gotten like a cell phone, like a Nokia Square. Yeah. But you guys went to like Project Bloat or mm -hmm. something like that or some place. And I remember just sitting in the car, like talking to my girlfriend the whole time. Oh, my God. <laughs> and now I'm like, man, I should have fucking like lived a little, oh. like go inside. Yeah. Like, but that's nah, codependency. Dude. Stay in the car, talk to your girl, bro. <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> trust me. That's it didn't, she, it trust didn't last. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know. Yeah. Just, oh, you yeah. went to college, right, Rick? Uh, for a little bit. And you, yeah, you, guys went, you guys both went to college. Oh, you dropped out of college? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you finished. I finished, but it, was like a, it wasn't like an actual like graduation. It was just through classes. <laughs> oh, oh, like you didn't, you fucked up where you couldn't graduate on stage, but you graduated. Yeah, something like that. But you did graduate. Yeah. What I was finished. your major? Psychology. Emotional terrorism. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Wow. Dude. Fucking villain, dude. What? Yo, come this on. This is a villain like, origin story? Dude, this was... I, people change every seven years. I was way over seven years ago. Psychology. What a piece Yo, of I've shit. I've changed on a cellular level, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. I've changed on a whole cellular level, We got to get you a cat and, like, yeah. a metal hand. I got you two just... cats already now. Right, I just there need the metal is, hand. Dude, That's yeah, like yeah. me majoring in chemistry and making drugs, like Breaking <laughs> Shut Bad. The fuck up. You know? You did the same <laughs> thing. Walter White. Yeah, exactly. What did you major in? Cognitive psychology and pre-med. What is that again? Psychology. It's it's all in the same world. It's the cognition. It's the way our yeah. brain works. Emotional you terrorism. sound like somebody lying about <laughs> it. I, like, I, you know, actually, I actually the still mind. don't really know. <laughs> it's good and evil over here. Psychology. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Let's say yeah. both evil. <laughs> I don't trust. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? They did say that. I don't know why. Do I give off that kind of like... I might do something bad. 
I don't know. Well, when you say it like that, yeah, maybe. I think I've always been a tra- I I think I've always been kind of like a good girl. I always feel like I need I have a need for that. My psychologist tells me that, but I think I've always been attracted to the other side. Like the fact that I had kind of like this like You had a crush on a match. You bring up the water gun pee again. <laughs> the water yeah, like gun that pee. being my crush, right? Like yeah. that being I think I always had this other side of me that I always But that's a different to. level of like a bad guy. So it's not like the stoner kid. This kid is No, like, it was never like, like the like Columbine guy. <laughs> yeah, it's dude that Trench Something coat. about his trench coat. Wait, hold on. Just just <laughs> yeah. to switch gears real quick, because you just talked about rebellion, right? Yeah, it's rebellion. Speaking of rebellion, the Korea Brazil game. Uh, <laughs> can we can we can we share this? Dumb. I heard you were genuinely pissed. Okay, so what no, happened? was he genuinely pissed? No, I heard no, no. He- well, you know, the Korea played Brazil. Yeah, and uh, this is gonna come out later. So, but they'll know that that's when we got eliminated, right? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we went to the game. Korea World got Cup. wiped, you know, by Brazil, yeah. which is not like shocking, but we had a lot of hope because yeah. before the game, before that, Portugal, yeah, Portugal, Come on. we won, you yeah. know, so we had a lot of hope. Um, so I go to the Koreatown bar that's the pretty known, center Cafe of Korea Blue, Town, center of K Town. Like this is like where all the old Korean yeah. heads, like super Korean Iconic. pride dudes, could go. <laughs> oh, yeah. With all that, everyone's stoked. Steffi walks in. With Brazil jersey. Oh, oh no! Let's go. <laughs> Brazil hair, like she painted her face. Like, Wait, she had green and yellow I, on her face. Green and I, hair, I, green and yellow hair ribbons. I you didn't really do fucking ribbons. You do ribbons. Oh yeah, of course. I have a lot. I have a lot of heart for Brazil. Like yeah. I have a lot. You of, rocked op color for so, ribbons. So to be fair, she is from Brazil. She right. was born in Brazil. Her family, her family, oh her, she's full God. Korean, but her whole family is from Brazil. They're yeah. still there. She goes. I have a Brazilian passport, yeah. but I, okay. for some reason, I was like, I don't want to be seen next to her. <laughs> he got, I don't. I got kind of mad because I was right. like, my whole thing is this. I get it. Yo, I, You're from Brazil. He, like I was born in Argentina, <laughs> right? But I'm Korean. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? She, you know, I'm just like you're at a Korea Town bar, right? Dude, he was fucking pissed. I was pissed. Dude, you were shaming me. He, he literally looked at me. He's like, he's like, don't sit next to me. He's like, don't yeah. sit, go to the other side. How he's loud like, did you he's cheer? Like, this is goal. so disrespectful of you. <laughs> and he was like shaming me. He was like, he's like, he's like, I know who I am. <laughs> I know who I am. He's like. You need to figure out your identity. It's like this. You have identity issues. Okay. How I how I saw it is like this. If you're a Mexican American yeah. and you go to Mexico versus USA and you wear a US jersey. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Dude, well, I you're asking no, for it. You're, yeah. you're asking I've, gone, wear, yeah. I've gone to Dodgers games, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've seen couples come. And like the one person is just like not wearing they're wearing the opponents whatever. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it was it's fine, no, but this bro. Is the World like, Cup. Yeah, no, this is culture. You're talking about like the American sport versus like the world yeah. sport. This is like if I went to a Koreatown versus Culver City game and I wore a Culver <laughs> yeah. City jersey. Or can I say wearing a red bandana in a crip neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, it's not the same. I have pride for my community, my culture. I grew up going yeah. to Brazil. Kore- I went to Korea. I so mean, I went to Brazil more- over 50, 50 times well, in my now lifetime. You're bragging, I've right. been to I, true. Life but Kore- I, I also am trying to make a point that Korea. I've been there like a couple times. Are okay? you more Braz- Do you feel you're more Brazilian than Korean? I feel like I'm not gonna lie. I felt while watching that game that I I wanted. I didn't care. Obviously, I have one. I have one community to like fall to because. But I felt bad that Korea was doing bad, and I wanted Korea. I w- I was confused, and so I had a group chat going with my cousins who are from <laughs> Cur- who are from Brazil. Who like, born in Brazil. So, someone someone <laughs> no. from uh, someone from Brazil uh, Brazil side is doing like a slanty eye, <laughs> <laughs> and it's Steffi's like, yeah, get him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we were all talking about how we had this like identity issue thing, right? And I don't know. If, I don't want to call it identity issue. It's it's like that third culture. I love kid. it. Kids, the yeah. culture kids have like this like weird space of being like okay like who is who are we with and it's like mm. i i felt love for both communities yeah but i, <laughs> I think the mistake was just going off i brought by the way i did bring a hat because when the minute i walked in i realized or the minute i realized where it was happening which i don't know why i was like okay the record stopped <laughs> yeah i was like wait yeah. i need to take this hat so i took this hat that had korea and like korean words that was korea I, so like i was like okay that's but, even more disrespectful was, the fact that yeah. you had the whole 
whole Brazilian get up yeah, and like, then that one little tegucci hat yeah, just in case <laughs> oh my really, the, God. Record, the record did stop the minute I walked in there because yeah. it was a dark <laughs> there was like a dungeon yeah. well your Brazil the- jersey was made in Korea so <laughs> <laughs> um, that's so some it, I, it was a little but the I way you made people. me feel though yeah because the way I you made felt me like feel. it was just kind of more of like a sense a thing mm-hmm. a tone deaf thing it is a little tone deaf mm. you know what i'm saying yeah I, I just felt like this is the hub yeah everyone's excited you know but you, do you think that i should have gone i should have worn korea colors current just because i was going or to just that normal Korean. clothes i guess like, i was just a little confused. i have a lot of yeah. pride for being brazilian i definitely I, think you shouldn't mm. have came with the boom box blasting bossa nova <laughs> i was like that's a little disrespectful carnival headdress <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, kicking the ball around <laughs> doing tricks Oi, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh um, shit no but i wasn't gonna back down especially at that point especially to even like prove another point to you was like i'm not i'm proud of who i am so i i saw but- that your sister posted um when I was on the way to the game, she posted something. She has a younger sister IG story. She she was in Brazilian shit too. I was like, yikes! And then she was like, I don't conform to monoculturalism. <laughs> and I was like, I hate that you taught me this word right now. <laughs> My sister told God me that. Damn it! She's like ah, oh, another word I have to learn. <laughs> Um, but I think a lot of people have that issue and um, I don't think it's your right to tell people right. how they should be You're just right. because I, just, I want to conform to everyone else. I just didn't want to get I my just, ass beat, you know? <laughs> yeah, you were just more ashamed that like I was sitting next to you and that you are a representative like of Korea town. I yeah. think you were like, uh, uh, you know, it was more But that's like, also fair, right? I mean, But what fair. is there? People are going to shame him and be like, oh, he's like on the Absolutely. other side. Like, yeah. No <laughs> Absolutely. way. I'm not I already lost no the affiliation. Look, look, I'm, is not, real. I'm not even a huge sports dude like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I just, I personally just like seeing during the World Cup individuals having pride in the country. Segregation. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> you go, this is what it could be like. <laughs> No, I just I feel like it's kind of yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It br- it does kind of it brings everyone together. This healthy yeah. competition because yeah. I see when people lose too, like different cultures being like, "Yo, shout out to Korea for trying." Yeah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, yeah. motherfuckers who hated Korea. Yo, you know what country's killing it in the World Cup though? Etiquette wise, you heard about the Japan mm-hmm. team, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just so is that they OD clean up what? like the stadiums after is that, yeah, the thing, they and like, and everything. I didn't day. like how you know sometimes I, I saw like a, during the announcers talking about this yeah. like oh like the Japanese culture they're so amazing how they've cleaned up the the state I didn't kind of like how yeah. they were talking about that uh, they were a little condescending in a way yeah. I just didn't yeah. dig that you know what I'm saying made me want to trash the place a little more <laughs> I, I think it's a it's, it's a fascinating like idea of like being feeling Brazilian, but like looking Korean. Yeah. And That's uh, true. I don't know. I feel that with just being from America and being Mexican too. It's not, it's not the yeah, same, like, but when the two play each other, right. Being Mexican, like who would you root for? Right? So as a kid, I was a dickhead and was like a total USA guy, but also I was sort of, I had, let's just say I've been in relationships with people where I didn't feel like I could be Mexican. Like they mm. didn't. Ah. Damn. And so for a long time, I was sort of like, not a shame, but I wasn't yeah. like, I'm Mexican. This is yeah. who I am. I'm mm-hmm. just kind of finding that you now. You flaunt my, it. Later Absolutely. on. But, um, but now, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess both, I'd be proud of both, but I, but, um, I don't know. Yeah. I used I, to have a USA Jersey, all that shit. But if I went to Mexico, I don't think I would rock it, but maybe if I was trying to be on some like yeah. punk shit and be like anti you know I mean? establishment. Come on. There's a little, I think I do That's like, little, I have I a think bit it's of cool, a contrary. Yeah. I think what you sometimes. talked about is that water gun pee the right identity there. thing, <laughs> uh, the ethnic identity thing with, going out or, or with with a group of friends or a partner like that's an interesting journey i've had too mm. you know at first i was like filtering out kind of the asianness yeah, and then yeah. i and then i went like full force with yeah. it and now when i go to other places too i'm kind of in this middle area where i want to have both i don't want everything to be about also just being korean all yeah. the time and I, sometimes yeah. i feel like i'm going crazy with the korean and asianness you know yeah. i went out with a white girl recently Right, and I felt that because I, I I haven't dated like a white girl in a while, mm. and I went out with her, and I felt like oh shit, da da yeah, Asian yeah. shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like yeah. oh damn, like am I have have my life and 
my work been dedicated to that for so long right. that now it's become like so much of my identity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's this weird balance that yeah. I'm kind of figuring out right now too. I also think like fuck balance. Like if that's what you're bringing, that's what you're bringing. Yeah. They gotta deal yeah. with yeah. it. They don't like it. No, yeah, you know? it's not for them though. It's also just for me. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. I want to it's be. My parameters in spaces. like here right now. Yeah. yeah where it's you. like everything. Where it's I'm, I'm not stuck in my own world right. too. Because right. sometimes you get stuck in your own world and yeah. your own perspective. You know. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to widen that again as well. Wow. Yeah. 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 I don't think I've ever dated like a full white girl. You've never dated a white girl? I've dated like half. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> On the behalf of the UN, congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> half, but never like full. I don't know. I don't know what that would be like. I'm open to it. I just don't. I've been way open Test to it. Test it out, recently. man. Hey, Take someday. It for a yeah, you go on Raya. That's all it is. Okay. It's all white girls. I don't <laughs> have an app. Right. I'm just. I just got out of a thing, so I'm like still like figuring out. <coughs> oh, what the, it's fresh what the path for you. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I joined every app this year. Okay. Yeah. Every you liking app. it? <laughs> have it? You having fun? Yeah. I joined it when Bobby Bobby joined it. So I was, I was on set with Bobby on a movie and we spent a lot of time together and he was just getting out of his relationship and he was like, oh, what's the apps, blah, blah. Yeah. So he's like an extreme dude. You yeah. Tell oh, him, I know. Like you tell him like to, to, I had just joined Raya for the first time. So yeah. he's like, oh, what's that? And he joined Raya. He's like, what else is there? And he joined everything yeah. <laughs> and did all the premium. He Damn. unlocked all the premium <laughs> features. The gold, everything. Roses, everything. So I was like, uh, I'm going to do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I did the same thing. I'm on Hinge, Bubble, Bumble, Raya, whatever. What's Christian your favorite? Mingle or what? What's my favorite? Yeah, if you had to really. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not, a, you know, I realize Hinge is a little like too wholesome. Mm -hmm. Hinge rep. and Bumble. <laughs> Hinge is probably the best balance. Bumble is kind of wholesome. Them. Yeah, Raya's a little bit ratchet because it's more influencer. But I haven't followed up with anybody. I've gotten matches and then DMs. Yeah, because once you match, you can message each other. Yeah, and I can't follow up. Like I have yeah. no desire to like let's meet up here. Yeah, I, I just I don't think I have that either right now. But are yeah. you on the apps? I'm not. No, it it just happened like two little over two months ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm sort of like, yeah, thinking about the idea. But you know, I don't know. It feels like the body's still warm. I'm like trying to like. Mm -hmm. The Move body's forward still respectfully. What do you date yeah. mostly Latinas or? I think in the past, yeah, it's been that. I, I mean, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that. Yeah, like how? Yeah, Latinas. Uh, my first uh, girlfriend was half Filipino, half white. Okay. Have you uh, dated a Korean? I haven't. Mm. No. Is that good? Wow. Should I? Yeah, you should. I okay. mean, some would say yeah. they're t top tier. Damn. Asian. All right, uh, girl. Well, you got the fan base. No biasness. <laughs> no bias here. <laughs> <laughs> they're also like you know people. I think like the idea of like out of like a lot of the Asian girls because you know they, they're kind of familiar with Korean culture now uh -huh. more because it's gotten really popular yeah but like LA Korean girls New York Korean girls are kind of like a different breed really yeah which do you like, like which is better uh, the LA Korean girls are probably the craziest in the world. Okay, okay. You know, I don't know if I want crazy. I don't no, know no, no, like, but in an exciting way. Okay. You know, I'm just saying they are different breed. For yeah. sure. depends on where where you look. You know what I mean? You think so? Yeah. yeah. You know some crazy ones from Virginia, right? No, I'm saying you know wholesome. Yeah, Virginia is definitely wholesome, a lot more wholesome for sure. But you know, in LA too, there's a lot of. There Dude, what, what do you like? LA, LA New York. Uh, what do you mean, like girls, girls, Korean mm -hmm. girls? Um, I mean, I, I love, I love all, all Korean girls. <laughs> but at that, at that point, girls. is is the isn't the region where they're from doing a lot of the heavy lifting more than them being Korean? Like, if you're doing New York and L.A., nah, the Koreans a lot different? strong. It's it's strong. It's different. Yeah, the Koreans really <laughs> like the culture is like really embedded into their blood. It's of yeah. dominant. Their, yeah, yeah, and and we had their supportive communities. Like L.A.'s Koreatown is so huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that shit is like really supported. And, yeah, and, for sure. You know, like over here, like you're not going to walk down Koreatown. And someone's going to be like, Chank, uh -huh. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like for you sure. could get stomped out for that yeah, out yeah. here, you know. So yeah. I think there's a there's a good pride level. Yeah. And that's probably made us who we are when we have like supportive communities of yeah. like your ethnic background. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're a little less we're not the fish out of water yeah you don't have to hide it yeah not, it's not like and frank shit you can that, be out in the <laughs> open and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. plus if the riots taught us anything koreans are packing so uh <laughs> yeah no i mean it was that's i always say that i think a lot of the confidence for myself came from a community that was very supportive yeah dude i remember uh i was gonna bring this up too because you lived like right down the street from that rec center yeah, yeah. When you were a kid, and yeah. I remember going there with you one time, and they yeah. had like a DJ booth and microphones, and like 
I, I used to go to a boys and girls club, like a YMCA. The KYCC. Yeah, yeah no, uh, Brazil. Okay. The thing that you donate to, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a it's a youth center, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But it was dope, and I look back at that, I'm like, damn, what a fucking tool to have, especially as a kid who's into hip hop, like being able to go there. That's awesome. And do that, it was like, fuck, That's man. Cool. Yeah, it was. It awesome. was that place. You know how I discovered? I was on my way back from school one day, stealing a car. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. I was driving this 89 Civic. Got some Jack in the Box. So. <laughs> and I heard like kids like yelling from this. I was like, what is it? I just walked in. I like, come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a facility Aww. for the youth. Here's a yeah. microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I got in trouble. I stole from there too. And I was what? banned for a year. What did you steal? Money? They had a point system where when you do homework, they give kids points and they put it into your number. Like each kid gets a number. Yeah. And when you have points, there's like a student store. You can use your points to get snacks or little prizes. Yeah. I hacked into the system and I gave myself thousands of points. <laughs> oh my God. You'd even make it realistic? Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Just make it <laughs> so I would go there and just get like, you know, but I would make it realistic in the things I'd get snacks and over time I'd get prizes. Yeah. They were like, what the fuck? Jonathan is not getting doing homework or nothing. How's he getting dropped homework. out of school? Yeah. So what do you I was, say? I was getting like a Game Boy. I was getting Game Boys Damn. and all this stuff. Damn. Later on, they caught on. They found out that the amount the amount of points I stole accumulated to about like a thousand to twelve hundred dollars, and they banned me there for a year. Damn. And they and and eventually I got older and I donated money where it covered the amount I okay. stole. <laughs> but you got to keep the Game Boy. I mean, yeah, I stole a lot of shit there. I mean, Damn. stealing points there was like stealing money from yeah, the yeah. place. I was it's, like, it's like Kumon cash. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I've done a lot of bad things. I just felt like I was clever in these old, like in these criminal ways. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? I was a yeah. smart kid. The young pickpocket mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the kid you would hire from a heist, you know, the yeah. young kid, you know. <laughs> the monkey from Aladdin. You baby, know driver. I mean? baby, yeah. driver. baby driver. Baby yeah, driver. Yeah, baby driver, if you will. All right, let's take some calls right now, man. Oh, oh, shit, you guys it. take calls? Yeah, we take yeah, calls. What the Hit us up on the Discord if you got a, a call, uh, if you got any questions that we, first things we've talked about. We got <laughs> Joe Burr. Joe Jimenez is is the J silent in the second last one? yeah it's which confusing. is weird thing I know because the Jimenez. J and the Joel is in silent it's not whole Jimenez no Joel Joel is my you know in Spanish but uh Joel Joe Jimenez. Jimenez and is Joe Berg the nickname you've taken on I think so they get I got it and okay. like uh one it started with kill Tony I was like I never used to talk and then I started getting up and saying jokes into the mic yeah and uh then one day I was like I was like on a streak for a few weeks. Remember the wrestler Goldberg? Yeah, Tony yeah. was like, "Oh, he's on a Goldberg like streak." And then I was like, "Joelberg." And then I, I do really stuck, I yeah. do really miss the uh, older format of Kill Tony, man, oh, man. with you and yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah, the whole it was way. fun, man. It feels like a whole nother life now, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, it's wow. Like, it's wild, but you have uh, your own chant too, man. When you kill it, yeah, you know it's I mean? pretty crazy, dude. I, I watched those videos because I was fucked up a lot of those times Were too. You? And it, it feels like. I, yeah, dude, I'd have to rewatch episodes to like remember them. Yeah, you know, like wow. nah, you get savage sometimes, bro. You dude. know what I mean? You Some got of that witty. shit did not age well. Dude. <laughs> I, I'm sharing clips now, and I'm like, Ugh, maybe not this one. I mean, no. but that's the Shoes thing. Hard. You can't, you know, you can't enjoy those unless you have the right comedic mindset and sense. Yeah, uh, and you gotta also have thick skin. Yeah. You know, people were talking about. We just had Hans on here. Cool. Yeah, I just you opened know? for him. And there's also and there's also comments of like, oh, I, like. Uh, some people not liking Hans, Asian people being mm -hmm. like, oh, because he, he's like a punching bag sometimes. But mm -hmm. I'm like, everyone's a punching bag on that fucking yeah, show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and to be liked as a regular on there, sure. everyone has to be equal in the way we take jokes, too. Yeah. And that's like battle rap, too. Yeah. You have to go in there being willing to take it mm -hmm. if you're going to give it. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? And yeah. I, that's why I always tell a lot of Asian kids, too, like, yo, don't just be offended. Yeah, yeah. Fight back. For sure. Yeah. Roast back. Yeah. That's you know, why we can't roast some of our homies. You know what I mean? There's, there's a few of them I where mean, they just get too sensitive. Some people are not fun to roast right. because they don't know how to yeah. handle yeah. roasts. Yeah, I know some people. Like I hate that. that. And you can tell shit. because like their comeback is like super hurt, like it's yeah. super real. Yeah, well, your mom's dead. And you're like, <laughs> what the fuck? I just said your shoes were whack. <laughs> if the other person, if the other person doesn't roast back, you just sound like being you're being mean. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. bullying them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's For take sure. a call right here. We got a uh, sincere. Abu, what's up? Sincerely, the ladder monkey. Hello. Anything? Are they on? Sincerely, Abu, hit us up on the Discord right now, uh, y'all. What's, what's up? Here. What's Hi. up? Hey. Hi guys. How's it going? Good, good. I've been watching, listening to the show in like my car when I drive, and it's pretty fun. Like all the. The last from the previous episodes, trying to catch up with everything. 
Thank you. Is nice. it is it an '89 Camry by any chance? Uh, <laughs> and is I it have yours? the key for that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. All right. No, it's a it's a Toyota sedan. Rest in peace. Oh mm. damn. Oh, what's up with you? Well, just uh, listening to the earlier conversation about third kid culture that Steffi was talking about. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who was kind of like that. Like, he's um, he's British but went to school in the Philippines for college with me and other friends, but then also like went back to UK and also lived in Taiwan for a while. Mm. And I was like really confused about like, what do I identify with? Am I Filipino? Am I American? Cause I grew up in the U S for high school too. Things like that. It's just like, you know, confusing to navigate. Yeah. Everyone has what to go through their, uh, they, everyone has to go through their own journey, you know, like, be just be supportive and be like you know you're accepted in in our in your group or whatever it is it seems like you're probably already doing that yeah my bad i apologize for how i treated you yesterday i've never actually been shamed about that except for no you. i think i like got you. pressured i got pressured by old korean dudes yeah. in, in the bar. no yeah. no one pressured you you chose to yell nah but i'm gonna say with dumb too though it's the heart of korea town world cup Oh my God. The Brazil jer Brazil jersey's fine. You face painted and the ribbons. Are you serious? You did. I put. I put eyeshadow. You tasseled up. You, you I did put the tassels. eyeshadow. Yeah, I put eyeshadow. It's like, I it's, put <laughs> yellow and green eyeshadow. It's like, okay? if, I, it's like if that was Malia Obama, Ob like Barack's daughter, and I go to a function with Obama, uh, and I'm wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't. It's not religion. Okay, maybe it's not it's that. It's not fucking no. politics. It's <laughs> not religion. It's my identity, bro. And okay, I am Korean. Maybe that's a little extreme. I am Korean. I do not think like Obama, by the way. I'm not like, B -b 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 what would Obama do today? Yeah. Or would a, well, what's her name? I, do you I say mean, her name? Like, I, I just thought of something. Because there's, you know, black British people. I mean, they're not sh showing up in like, Yeah. <sighs> No, that, that's like yeah. they're allowed to wear the England jersey, right? Yeah, it's like, thank yeah. you. It's interesting. I don't know. It's it's such a thing. I think labels is what we're really getting at, and like what what these things. I mean, think it's just know? situations. It was like Koreatown. This yeah. bar is like clearly like a thing. Yeah, it's like you know, like in Dodger games. Yeah. Like if you're, you're in a whole Dodgers session, yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. Shit, the one little... guy with the giant shit, they'll get in fights for that shit. <laughs> but also, fuck it, like the people that are showing up to the, they're willing to to have the static. I gotta know? admit, yeah. that was pretty bold. That was very bold. That was yeah. That's who I am, baby. No, oh. <laughs> I'm gotcha. sorry. A I'm L.A. Sorry. Korean I'm Brazilian. Yeah. 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 Thank, Abu. Thank, Abu. You so <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in, Abu. Thanks for calling, Abu. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We got Mac Yeezy. Mac Yeezy. What's up, Mac Yeezy? Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, been a while. Yeah, man. <laughs> How are you? Hi. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I'm in Hong Kong right now. Um, Ooh, so, man. yeah. Of course you are, bro. You're everywhere. <laughs> I know. You've been traveling everywhere. How's Hong yeah, Kong? It's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's early, but... um. No, basically, just wanted to call in because, um, you know, about all of the World Cup uh, and everything. Um, so my question is, do you guys know the offside rule? Yes. You know, I just... Explain, explain the offside rule. I think the easiest way to say it is, okay, there's three defenders by the goal, and you can't, you can't have the ball and pass the the last defender like whoever is the you can't final thing yeah but you can get the ball passed to you uh is that it that should confuse the fuck out of me all world cup i feel like i just learned it it's just that you can't be ahead of your the last right? defender yeah with the ball but i think you can get it like sent to you but you can't cross the final that rule, defender. That rule like, is confusing as Did fuck. Did I do a good job or am I completely fucking wrong? <laughs> right, zoom in on that real quick, Tony. Let me read you're, you're it. Close. You're, you're, you're a close. player you're is close. in an offside position if he, any part of the head, feet, or body is closer to the opponent's goal line than the second to last defender and the ball. And he is in the opponent's half of the field. Of course, I'm already lost. <laughs> I don't even know what the okay, fuck. Okay. So, That's what so, I said. Um, it's like you can't be cherry picking pretty much, right? You can't just uh, send it all the way to the end. You don't have to bring food so into this. All right. <laughs> well, okay, okay. So, um, all, so you can't be ahead when the ball is released. Okay, that's the e that's the easiest um, or like the simplest one. Okay. So yeah, you know all, all those things about oh body part or whatever. 
But if any part of your body is ahead of the last defender when the board is released, um, then that counts as offside. So mm. after it's released, then you can move. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So after it's released and it's intentionally going to you. So you so called them. You, know, you call. <laughs> you called them to teach us some shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought no, you no, called no, them because you I, didn't I, know I was, and you wanted to know. Could I ask? No, could no, I ask no, no, something? No, could I ask yeah, something in general, just off of the soccer element we're talking about? It's so crazy that in general, and at least in the U.S., right? You know, a lot of people aren't into soccer like the rest of the world. But it seems crazy. Like when the World Cup comes around, everyone is into it people like alcohol that's what i'll say that's but, a but part I, of it but it's the cultural well, element what i was talking about yeah. it's, it's a national too. element right like yeah. i was talking to you like how i was like when you came into the bar i was all like what the fuck are you doing but like i'm not even that invested into yeah. soccer <laughs> you know yeah, what i mean it brings it out I could, yeah so it's or just so, korea for that matter <laughs> like, i'm over there all of a sudden i'm a hooligan in there <laughs> yeah. you know what the fuck is going right, on it's, right. it's just so crazy and like for instance like that one korean soccer player who scored? Oh, yeah, who yeah. scored during the World Cup? He started with like twenty thousand followers on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of the World Cup, he has almost two million what? followers. Yeah. No, he, no way. He's like two point five. Two point five. It's wow. crazy. All Korean people. Too. Is it? Yeah. Are they Koreans? <laughs> and some, and some Korean Brazilians. No, it's global. Yeah. You know, Brazil loves yeah. Korean culture. By the way, except you apparently. <laughs> You're the only Brazilian that doesn't like Koreans. Actually. I'm, wow. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So one sided with you, buddy. Nah, I'm <laughs> Open kidding. your mind and heart up a bit. I'm kidding, dude. It's too, it doesn't matter anyways. We lost at this point, so I'm gonna probably hop over to Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And if they lose, I'm going to the U.S. and vice versa. I got three. I had yeah, three yeah. groups that made it to the to six, 16. The convenience of being Korean, Argentina, right and U.S. I'm just a, I'm more bandwagon than anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, are you Korean, Argentina, Argentina or U.S.? <laughs> I'm bandwagon. Yeah. Well, then in that case, I respect it even more. Hell yeah! You were in, sure. you're like I'm going no matter what. Yeah. This is what it is. I'm not even valid. If anything, I just enjoy shaming people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, thanks for, for calling, calling in, Matt. All right. Thanks. All right. All right. Is that it? Is that last call? We we'll got one more. Say we'll one take more. one more, and then we'll call it a call it an episode. John Zoo. What's up, John Zoo? What up, John? Yo. What's good, bro? Hi. What's, What's good? Yo, man. Um. Just wanted to talk to Dumb real quick. Mm, um, talk to me. Yeah, man. Um, I was wondering, did you hear about the Ji Kun Flo reunion? Yeah, yeah. So Ji Kun Flo, which is a funny name in hindsight, <laughs> uh, is it is it is an open <laughs> mic that I used to go to and was created by like a friend of ours. Yeah. This was when we were kids too, and it was just That's like another. I... It was like another open mic, like Project Blowed. But they did. It was in Koreatown, so a lot of the MCs were Asian. Yeah. Majority, all majority Korean MCs, and we would just meet up every Sunday and just freestyle for hours. Mm -hmm. I met you at a smoke Jikun weed, flow. smoke weed, freestyle, and they're finally doing a reunion. And I think it's like a fifteen-year almost reunion. Yeah, I actually maybe twenty. Show it's up in like a, a Brazil year. jersey. <laughs> 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 They'll be confused as a Yo, motherfucker. That's all. <laughs> They'll be confused. Yeah, I did. I, I think I'm gonna go uh, attend that. Um, it's kind of crazy just to think like that. I've been rapping for over 20 years, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm 36 years old. Yeah. I started rapping when I was 14 years old. Damn, yeah. that's that's what 22 years. Wow. Crazy. That's 22 fucking years, man. I, yeah, well, I had another old memory. I was I was on the bus, like the two going down Sunset years ago, and Jamal got on. Yep. And he was talking about, oh, they're going to do this project called Super Barrio Brothers yeah, or something. Yeah, that was my first oh, album ever. Yeah. yeah, it was before all that happened, and it's, it's so been Ralph. forever, man. And then I remember, like, Lotus, you played Lotus Festival? like A year? while ago, yeah, in yeah. Echo Park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah crazy. Man. It's been a while, man. man Time dudes, flies. Man. We're going to wrap this show up. Uh, Joel, it's been a pleasure catching up Hell with yeah, you, man. Dude. Um, I'm so happy that we're in a healthy mind state. Yeah. Um, that, you know, you're doing well. You're pursuing your passions. You're not a criminal. <laughs> no, yeah. not yet. Um, <laughs> yeah. How can yeah. people can come watch your show? Yeah, yeah. I'm at, I'm at the comedy store a lot. On my Instagram, I put everything. I'm, I play drums in a hardcore band, too, called uh, Mad Peaceful. Oh. I think it's at Mad Peaceful Band. Uh, we're 
I don't know when this is coming out. Whatever. I put everything on my Instagram. So I'd like to sorry. come watch you. Yeah. Live. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. When I, if you guys ever want to come to the store, let me know. Mm -hmm. I, I will um, say, I think a lot of people in high school that were doing well and was really popular, they tend to peak really early. Yeah. When people are like, those were the best days. I'm like, yeah. you suck. The, the, <laughs> the hottest girls in when we used to go to high school, they got pregnant super early. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Makes Just, sense. You know, it got really. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it happens. Right? I think about the word MILF. I'm like, yeah, yeah of course they're a mom. Yeah. yeah, that's what got them there. That's true. They were hot already. Yeah, I guess every girl around my age now is a milf in a sense. Oh, I guess even if, I mean, they what? have to be a mom. Yeah, yeah, they have to be a mom, but most are. Most this is a wholesome ass episode. I just, I, I just it. don't think about that. Like, it is kind of crazy. Like, I still don't feel my age. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you I know? feel like I'm 17 in my brain. Other than like some morals and shit that I've learned now. But <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. But yeah. yeah, it's not like you're showing up to high school with a binder like, hey, no. kids. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I no. feel just like you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, fellow children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just feel mm -hmm. youthful still. Hell yeah. And and I, I just I do. I do regret not being healthier in my 20s, though. Hmm. Do you ever feel that or? Yeah, but now I think, dude, I think the best time is now, man. I think like yeah. everything is the best it's ever been now. Like people mm -hmm. want to talk about the past or whatever, but this is it. And it so, is. It is. and who knows if we'd be here had we not been that. So I like agree, our man. paths yeah, dropping no, no, out. Yeah, no, no, rearview window shit, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No regret. You're I, here I now. Think, do you think in the 20s you just feel so invincible that you make bad choices and, you know, like. A, yeah, and you're dumb. You don't know shit about yeah. life. Like. You don't know any better, really. It's like life metabolism. You just feel yeah. like you can do crazy shit and it'll just exit your system right. quicker, yeah. quicker. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. But unless you get twenty five to life, <laughs> oh yeah, you can't do nothing. Dude, you get that yeah. third F. You, know? you can't metabolize your jail yeah, time. Exactly. Find that in a in a cell, and you're like, <laughs> ah, but I'm different now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but it's always too late, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Damn. hell. Well, we're free, um, and we did a lot of criminal activities, mm, and legendary. we got away with it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know there are a lot of people. You can't leave out the people who are in their 30s or 40s who have not experienced the things you guys have experienced, and that they're getting their th things out now. Do you think like, they regret mm. that? Like, I wish I committed yes, a crime. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. You no, think that, absolutely. not crime, but just like I wish uh -huh. I was outside. Whatever well, outside is. I think so. Yeah. I think like being sure. at the store now. That's my high school college experience because I never had it. And yeah. So like yeah. now that's my like frat or whatever, but. I'm figuring it out. But no, you think there's people like, I wish I tried meth. Yes, I yeah. think so. <laughs> you know, no, like, I this, do. I'm not saying get addicted to it. Like, yeah. I wish I tried crack. Like, you think people... Huh. There's a lot of people that, that feel sure. like they're, they're curious to see what, you know, what the effects are and the feeling. Yeah, of course. I think that some of our probably people that listen to us, the reason they listen to us is to hear these stories that they mm. haven't experienced and they feel like, you know, by listening... By right. Perhaps, it's whatever, a safer right? way. Yeah. It's a safer... <laughs> I could see the criminal part. Like, I wish I, I had... I've stolen a car or robbed the bank before, like yeah. that adrenaline. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I can't imagine the crack. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It depends how bad their lives are, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Man. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'm not saying go try crack. Yeah, don't do it. Don't, don't do yeah. any of this. Don't try. Uh, don't try stuff that if you try one time, you might really ruin yeah. your life. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know? Um, but Joel, thank you for coming on the show, man. You're welcome back any other Hell yeah. time. Dude, thanks for having me. I'm yes, super sir. proud of you. I'm, I I remember like seeing stuff pop up and I was like, I went to go see Dilated once at the Roxy and you were opening yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, back. I wanted to say what's up, but I was also like, well, I've been gone a while. I feel like it's unfair. Like if you're not there for the journey to like, just insert yourself. So That's I'm glad we met we up on a different. Yeah. I think yeah. your sister was doing merch for you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but yeah, yeah, I was just like, ah, it'll, if it happens, it happens. And I'm glad it happened the way it did, man. It's great. great we're alive. We're well, man. Yeah. What a L.A. story. Wow, what this LA is story. very holiday appropriate. Happy holidays to These you guys. These are all guys. blessings. Very, for sure. Very family. This, this mm -hmm. is all blessings, man. And this is another uh, realization that I feel uh, that I'm very blessed yeah. um, um, and lucky. So thank you guys for tuning yeah. in. Uh, yes. You can check out Joe at the Comedy Store damn near every weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, check his band out. Um, What's your band name? Uh, Mad Peaceful. Mad Peaceful. Mad Peaceful. I like that. All right. Nice. Well, tune in next week for another episode of Fun With Dumb. Peace. Peace. Bye.